I'm sorry if my energy levels are a little low in this video. It's just that I've been stuck at home for the last couple of days with a fever. And the doctors actually got me to go and do a swine flu test only because I was recently hanging out with this chick before she got diagnosed with swine flu. And woohoo, I don't have swine flu. Thank God for that. Just a normal flu, but the only bummer is that I don't get to play holy. And that's why I decided that since I'm stuck at home, I have to do a holy special here on the whack. So here it is, my list of some of the fun and wackiest religious festivals that exist around the world. So there's this festival in Japan which is known as Halvaka Matsuri and it basically means naked festival. Now boys, before you start getting any ideas, there's no naked women, there's only tens and thousands of naked men. This is a festival that happens actually, it just took place last month and uh, it happens every year in a temple in a place called as Okoyama. And uh, all these men, naked, only with a loin cloth around their waist, gather in this temple and the priest throws this sacred talisman into the crowd. And they get divided into these teams and they're crammed in and they have to look for this talisman and whoever finds the talisman is blessed uh, with good luck and fortune for the rest of the year. In the last couple of years, the festival has actually gotten a little dangerous. So uh, authorities are now advising people to keep their emergency contact number along with their blood group stuffed in their loincloth while they bend over and clamor all over each other looking for this sacred talisman. Hmm. And another really bizarre festival is this one that takes place in Spain in a small village. It's known as the Baby Jumping Festival or El Colacho. It started in 1620 and basically in this festival people dressed as the devil run along the streets and in little intervals there's batches of babies that are left <laughs> this is like lying there on the street and these guys have to jump over the babies and the only thing that i can think of like an image like this is like super mario where he's like running except here he instead of mushrooms he's jumping over babies and if any of those men don't aim correctly, I can just imagine what would happen to them at the end of this festival. So there's actually two countries in the world that have their own annual phallus festival. It's uh, no guesses what the two countries are. Japan, of course, and Greece. And uh, it's held in the month of April in both of these countries. And uh, in Japan, it's known as the Kanamara Matsuri, which means the annual festival of the steel phallus. And uh, they basically have this shrine over there, which is this big metal wiener that they go and worship. And on the day of the festival, in both places, uh, they sell merchandise that is in the shape of a shlong no matter what it is like it could be food it could be candles it could be artifacts but everything that is sold is basically in that shape so that's my list of some of the craziest religious festivals around the world happy holy once again and uh, like comment subscribe and i will catch you again a little healthier very soon ciao every dolphin has a unique whistle attached to him and that's basically his name so when one dolphin meets the other one, he's like, hey dude, my name is, my name is. Like any addiction, it can be amazing, but it can be destructive at the same time. That's what Black Mirror does to you.